Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Welcome everyone to Let's Play Robo Warrior Episode 3. I goofed up again and screwed up the save states, but it isn't that big of a deal because the entrance to the level is actually right in the lower left corner right down there. I mean, you missed like maybe 10 seconds of gameplay at most. And I'm not going to redo levels 1 and 2 just to get all the way back here with probably even less items than I have right now. So, actually I'm going to save state again here. Alright, and we're actually going to save there also. Okay, that should take care of that. And this is the water that I was telling you about that you probably can't cross, but I said I was going to try it anyways, so. We're going to try it. And we're going to die. You get to watch the first game over screen. Yeah, it's great. Oh, this is actually an excellent opportunity. Because I can click continue here. And then we're actually at the start of level 2. Or 3. 2-2. Two, two. God. Third level, but yeah. Um, as you can see, it's completely dark. Um, I used a lantern before we picked up. Um, and as you can see in my inventory, I don't have that lantern anymore. So what I'm actually going to do is load from my other save so that it's light and we can actually see what the crap we're doing. So, but yeah. Um, as you can see, the enemies are all different. Um, they just look different, that's it. They have the same AI, same movement, same attack, same everything. Um, in order to get across this, we're going to use a life preserver. And then we can walk on the water all we want, dance around on it if we want. And that guy over there is basically this world's equivalent of the spider bot thing. So, we're going to try and not mess with him too much. As long as you don't take them head on, they're usually not that tough. Yeah, there you go. One bomb will kill pretty much any normal enemy. Ah, get away, get away. But yeah, as you can see, the lantern makes the entire screen light up, so it's perfect for these worlds that are actually completely dark, as opposed to using them when you go downstairs for like two minutes tops and then come back up to a light area. Completely wasted. Light's getting low. Yeah, I hate to break this to you so early in the series here, but uh, these enemies you're seeing here, this is about as different as they get. You'll be fighting the same monsters through the entire game. They might get recolors, but they don't even get like life boots or anything. Same AI, same everything. They do have a tendency to dodge your crap, though. Okay, there we go. And the third secret area. I don't know the combo to this one. Yeah, I screwed it up. This is actually kind of pathetic. This is my uh, second time recording this level because I recorded it last time and messed up the save states, as you noticed. Um, and went to look at my recorded file and my microphone actually broke. So I'm using a new mic now. Don't like this microphone as much, but it'll get us through until I get myself a new one. But yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. You heard that last time. And this is a pretty fun game. I don't mind playing levels over again as long as I don't have to do every single level twice from here on out because that would suck. All right. 
world over. We have four medals, which is not enough to buy anything. I had more medals than this, too, on our first playthrough, but whatever. This is world 3-1, and I think we need to be in the center, unfortunately. So we're going to use some rockets. Yeah, as you can see, those guys down below, those red things, or whatever color they are and the level you're in, like to turn themselves into blocks and trees and all kinds of other obstacles for you. And sometimes when they do, they make one of those ghost things that I just blew up accidentally. The blue ones aren't too bad, but the, the pink ones are most annoying because... Oh, great. Now we get to go downstairs. Yikes. Um, the pink ones are annoying because they will actually pick up any items that they fly over. So, being a treasure hunter, they are my arch nemesis in this game. You know what? We're not going to deal with these guys. I don't want to fight two spider bots at once. It's just annoying. Lightning kills all enemies on screen, if I hadn't already explained that in the previous video. God. Yeah. Whoops. That's not the right item. There we go. Interesting to note, uh, unlike the other items in the game, the candles will automatically use themselves when you exit the inventory screen. So, you don't need to push the button in order to actually activate them. Same with the lantern, actually. Yikes. That was close. What? Oh, nailed me head on. Alright, there's just too many of these guys. Time stopped them. And then they're not so bad. What is this, our third or fourth candle? I think it's our third. Could be wrong. Alright, we gotta be getting close to our timer here, so I'm gonna pause the video and check quick. Alright, we're fine. We got like two minutes yet, so let's see if we can knock out the rest of this level, even though I think it's somewhat long. It's going to be even longer if I keep running into these guys. There we go. I think the game's first boss is coming up relatively soon. I'm pretty sure he's at, he's at the end of World 3. I don't know how many levels are in World 3, but... We'll find out. Here's the fourth hidden area, and I have no idea the combination. Hey, life preserver. Those are cool. Nope. That was definitely wrong. I really hope the key isn't... Well, there's the end of the level. He's got to be in here. Just to make you waste several bombs. Oh, I got 77. Never mind. I shouldn't be complaining. I thought I had a lot less than that. Ta-da. Wow, a life preserver. That's rather handy. Usually you don't just find them laying around. Same with lanterns and uh, nukes. Aha! 
Yes. All right. Let's get through this quick. So I'm pretty sure we're still under the time. Oh, continuation. 